Hello YouTube and welcome to another episode of the American Centennial. I'm your host, Mike. Today I'm having something I haven't had in quite a while, McDonald's. And I made my very own version of a Szechuan sauce. Check that out. I mixed, ooh, you can see it. I mixed firecracker sauce that I get from Sam's Club and honey. That way I get spicy but super sweet too. And I just call that my version of the Szechuan sauce because can't get it at McDonald's anymore. Now this is a Cameron special. I didn't go for the double cheeseburger. I went cheaper, got one less slice of cheese and got the McDouble, but I added Mac sauce to it. And that's what you call a Cameron special. Mine's modified because it's a McDouble. You know, the pickles, you can see, are not even in the hamburger for some weird reason. They're just, they're just there. That's not an issue. And we also have French fries, which I need ketchup for. I'll go to the refrigerator and grab some. And... I have a 10 piece nugget here, which I made the sauce for. I got sweet and sour, but um, I like the Szechuan too. Bam, look at what I got. I just time traveled and got ketchup. That's the worst sound, isn't it? And you get to the bottom. Let's eat, and we're going to do a little McDonald's talk today. I need paper towels. Bam, there they are. Right there. Right on time. Perfect. So I'd like to do some McDonald's talk before I eat. I always say grace. Ready. Mm-hmm. Burger is good. Yeah. The Mac sauce? Yeah. Mac sauce on this is awesome. What I'm excited for is my nugget sauce. How does it taste? If you ever had that firecracker sauce from Sam's Club, it's good. This is firecracker mixed with honey. Two parts firecracker, one part honey. I like it a lot. If you get some chili flakes, and put them in your Szechuan sauce. I mean, your sweet and sour. <clears throat> Maybe a little ginger. I suppose you could make um, your own sweet and sour. I mean, your own Szechuan out of McDonald's sweet and sour. I think it would be a good base. Which leads me into something. You know, I was talking with my buddy Willie. We were talking that McDonald's has so many good foods or things of the past that would be really great to have back. I mean, the ultimate grail for a lot of old school McDonald's fans would be the McPizza, if you ask me. God, everybody I know loved the McPizza. At least in my circle of friends. I ask them all and everybody's like, yes, that was good. Drop in the comments what you think about that. I love the McPizza. They had like the little toppings. They were great. Mm. 
They were great. And then, um, I remember the McBLT. That was awesome. Because the styrofoam container it came in had two separate bays to it. You lifted it and they were separated. All your hot stuff, so one button, it don't matter if that stays warm, you know, it's soft, like steaming it. I believe the burger, and I don't know if it was the burger and bacon, or just bacon. I think it had bacon on it, though, but, or maybe the meat. That was on one, and on the other was like your lettuce, tomato, you know, mayo or whatever with the other button. I remember that, separating the hot toppings from the cold. Really good idea. Really good. <laughs> Something that I would say, um, possibly some restaurants let that go out of style, which they shouldn't. I've ordered steak salads before. And this place was just a biker bar, basically, you know. I'm like, why do I have so many containers? I just got a steak salad. I heard they're good here. And they're only like 12 bucks or something, or 11 or 10. They were cheap back in the, it was about 10 years ago. So it was even cheaper than now, but maybe seven, eight bucks, regardless. I get this giant steak salad. One box just had like the steak cut up like that. Another box had a whole thing of fries. Another box was all the lettuce and all the cold toppings, the cheese and everything. Because I remember they said, oh yeah, their fries are great. They have the, the lettuce, the french fries, the steak, and it's, that's the best steak salad. Well, now that it was packaged like this, I think I ended up eating the fries separately on the side. But it was so huge, I'm like, wow. That's nice because if they put all the hot fries right onto that lettuce, you know, the cheese would have got all melted and clumps stuck together. Lettuce would have wilted. That might be the first time I ever tried, since I was a toddler, catch up on a chicken nugget. To be honest, it's not even bad. Let me know in the comments, what would you like to see McDonald come back with? What are some of the, your favorite in history that they've done? I'm sure a lot of people are gonna say McRib, but I think by now we can all throw in the towel and say this is trash. I've been a fan of it for so long and now I'm just like, you know what? It's not that good. <sighs> Did they already get rid of their spicy nuggets? Did McDonald's have spicy nuggets too? I'm not sure. I know it's a Wendy's thing. Oh, I know they got rid of their wraps. Didn't they have chicken wraps that were really good? I can't remember what they were called though. Go wraps maybe or something? And they were cheap. Seems like when McDonald's does anything new nowadays, it's just like a wrapper. And it's like his favorite combo. And it'll be like a regular burger, just minus the lettuce and add mayo or something. Just, you know, just a really small change in the order. And they make it a whole special. Not even a different kind of meat. We're introducing a new ingredient. Just the same old stuff kind of shuffled around. It's quite a lazy idea, really. I guess they're really just selling the, selling the name there.
Well, I'm glad I got McDonald's. All the food's great. I give it a 10 out of 10. Thanks for watching and um, having a little McDonald's chat with me. So take it easy and eat well.